of course we would all we are all afraid of being infected as well but we have to carry on doing our job because this is our duty to the nation I was serving in Hospital Ipoh in a surgical department previously, but just called to Hospital Sungai Bolo. I am currently serving in their COVID ward. So how are things like at the hospital right now? Work is still alright, it's manageable with the numbers that we have, have now, but patient loads are increasing. So I will work morning shift, 9am to 9pm. That's the official working hours, of course, with the Passover and all that. Usually it will go on to 14 to 15 hours. And the next day I'll do my night shift. After finishing my sh night shift at 9 a.m., I got that day off. And then the next morning I'll com continue with my morning shift again. So it has been challenging so far. I don't feel so tired yet, but I can imagine those who have been doing it for the past two months. Now. They have been working every day, almost every day without rest. So there was one of these days when it was really, really warm and I was in charge of uh, examining the patient and also taking some samples. I felt quite dizzy. So what I did was I actually took my temperature and the, temp the thermometer actually showed 40 degrees Celsius and that was really, really dangerous. I completed my task at hand and I requested for my friend to swap me with me. By the time we removed the suit, most of us were drenched from top to bottom. Uh, some of us were even able to squeeze water out of our, our scrubs. Those who did not originate from Klang Valley, they have to look for accommodation in such a short notice, they have to leave their families. Some were still breastfeeding women, so yeah, it was a very tough process. But then I think everyone realised the situation and the need to come and relieve the burden of the healthcare workers here. if I said there was there was no fear at all because as you know there are a lot of healthcare workers who have already been infected by the virus. All of us would be worried you know, to, to go home from work and to bring bring back any virus to families and all. We have already been taking steps to make sure that our families are protected including um, sleeping in different rooms. Some of my colleagues are sleeping in a different house altogether. A lot of them miss their children very much and yet they cannot see them they can only WhatsApp and also FaceTime their loved ones. Morale is quite kind of low, but what we do is we, we work together as a team to overcome this sort of uh, difficulties. <laughs>